It's that time of the year where we protect ourselves from the elements. But in addition to covering up, we are seeing that there's a lot of demand for it. We're rolling up our sleeves to fight against viruses. The province's vaccine campaign has officially started and already records are breaking. Really kicked off after the Thanksgiving weekend last week. Today, BC's top doctor saying nearly 82,000 vaccinations were given on a single day last week, beating last year's record by 15%. More than 4 million vaccines have been approved by Health Canada to treat COVID-19 and influenza in BC. Dr. Henry saying this morning that COVID is slowly on the rise. I am uh, know for certain that we will be seeing influenza and RSV, and we're already seeing increases in COVID infections. Wastewater data from the BC Centre for Disease Control shows that across Vancouver Island, there's an increasing presence of the COVID-19 virus this year, but it's still low compared to 2022. Wastewater activity for influenza A, B, and RSV remains low. Primary care visits for respiratory illnesses have also increased in recent weeks, mirroring stats from the last three years. And hospital admission rates are elevated, but they have leveled off a little bit in the last little while. So that tells us again that we still don't know enough about the patterns that this virus are going to have long term. Oh, you already got one. Dr. Farooq Shara at PharmaSave is seeing a higher demand for people wanting both vaccines. But with a limited supply at his shop, some patients might be turned away. We would love to be able to order this on our own so we can get more and then provide more, but it is given out by allocation. Shara also wishes that vaccines could be made available earlier to prevent more infections. But Henry says that's not possible. Vaccines, the updated vaccines, go through a process of um, being assessed for their safety and their effectiveness by Health Canada. So the Health Canada approved vaccines uh, were available late September and we started immunizing as soon as they arrived. The first rollout of the vaccines is going to those most at risk, such as seniors and those with chronic conditions. Those who haven't are encouraged to sign up to get notified when their shot will be available. Invitations are being sent out through early November.